everybody. Dead Eleven 13 here. With more Double Dragon. We're doing Double Dragon 3 today. It's not my favorite. But it is interesting. It does a couple things really well. It does a couple things really bad. So. The Sacred Stones. This one had a hell of an arcade release. It had where you, um... To buy special moves and more hit points, you had to put quarters, more quarters in your machine as you went to like in-game stores. It was poorly received. So you have a uh, starting in Double Dragon 2, we started getting a, our two-player co-op and our two-player we can punch each other for some reason. There's some neat two-player tricks you can do. It does make the game a little more difficult, but there's also a way to unlock an extra character. This one lets us have multiple characters. A year has passed since Billy defeated the Shadow Warriors from Double Dragon 2. But a new danger has reared its ugly head. Marion has vanished. That's silly. Wait a second. I am Hiruko, a friend. I have information about the girl's disappearance. Her captors will release her after you deliver the three sacred stones of power. This plot is the most nonsensical bunch of shit you will ever see. Also, this is, like, the hardest level one in any game ever. Double Dragon 3, a.k.a. Do Tornado Kicks. Billy does Tornado Kicks for 30 minutes. The game. They're a lot easier to do on this one. Listen, I tried to stop them, but they were too powerful for me. They're great fighters, but the one you must fear the most is... Ugh. It's a dojo. So Billy's kick sucks in this, but it is neat that you can just kind of double people over and then walk into them, and then you can do that. But you can't throw them; you have to you have to do a jump to throw people now, which is so dumb. But tornado kicks really easy to do and super awesome. So the game's pretty promising so far, right? Well, let's get into this first level. So instead of the whole, hey, move here, and then two guys are going to spawn, and then you're going to punch them, people are just going to come at me until they stop. Like, there's no... I can go to the end of this segment. Like, this is the end of this section. And, uh, dudes are just going to spawn until I've killed enough of them. The weapons are handled well in this one. So you can have a weapon until the guy who wielded it dies. You don't get your life back in between segments anymore. Which, you know, we did in two, but that's fine. Sometimes that tornado kick doesn't come out. Last one. You might be the last one. Oh god. You can also jump off walls, but it's incredibly impractical. Kinda like the throw. There is a neat thing you can do. I'm probably gonna die trying to do it. Um Yeah, you can throw behind you. Ah shit. Let's not do that. from this edge. Oh god. Uh, Linda's have infinite knives now. It's not as damaging as uh, the bald guy is Williams now, which doesn't seem right. It feels like he should be Roper. Uh, and the blonde guy should be Williams, but... Anyway, now we're in this room and there are more dudes! And they just kind of run on from the side of the stage. And eventually the boss will come out. There are a lot of hacks for this game online, which is really cool. There's a hack that gives the bad guys their old sprites back, which I really enjoy. It also makes the first two stages a lot easier. Um, oh yeah, this is the thing we can do. Uh, there's another hack that makes the game harder, but actually lets you have continues and extra lives and stuff. So we select our character, and then we can choose... Uh, see, the P is our life, and the W is the number of attacks we have on our weapons. We have nunchucks! We use them with a punch key. 
This is uh, Jim. He's Machine Gun Willie's brother, apparently. Nunchucks do almost the most damage in the game. There are two attacks. One attack does more. So that'll take care of him. And that's Double Dragon 3. In a nutshell, every stage is pretty much this. I'm sorry about your friend, Brett, but we must work hard to avenge him and rescue Mary and hurry. We must go before it's too late. It's a long journey. I've been told that the first stone is in China. Well, at least we avenged Brett. Now to China. China's cool. The music never gets really good in this game. So now we have uh, Bruce. Bruce is our new guy. And he has this sliding kick that he does. Probably one of the harder bosses in the game on this level, so try not to take too much damage. I like fighting here. Because it doesn't matter where you fight, you can go all the way to the end of the stage. I actually kind of like fighting in an open area because um, the enemy will also do wall jump kicks. They'll also do double team kicks where they'll jump at each other and then get like a boost jump kick. Like that. You've got an iframe while you're doing your uh, throw, your flip throw. And if you're like one frame up above your enemy or below them, they can't hit you. So you can avoid that. You can see the guy with a knife. Those are pretty good. They're a little bit better than the bottle. So we can keep him on the stage for a second. It'd be nice to get some mileage out of this. Boy, they love that shit. Yeah, I think we're done. So we can go to the boss room. This one's only one area and then the boss room. But yeah, letting them come to you and then doing tornado kicks is a pretty good way to go. Since it hits on both sides, even after we unlike some unlock some dudes, I like using tornado kick because it hits uh, two directions. Because right now, until I get another team member, if I die, I die. I start over at stage one. Why well, I made a save. God, there are a lot of these guys, but yeah, no, this th that's this is the main problem with the game. It is it is just this. Now it is really cool that you can have more than one of the type same type of dude on the screen. Like I can have a Linda and a Chin, or a Linda and a Roper. Missed. I have waited for this moment for a long time, Lee brothers. What's wrong? Don't you remember me? I'll remind you before I destroy you. You killed my brother in your battle with the Shadow Warriors. Get ready to feel the force of my revenge. My kung fu is without equal. So this is Chin. He's uh, related to Chin Tai Mei. Somehow. He does a lot of damage, but he's kind of slow. He also has a lot more hit points than we do, so four or five nunchucks is not enough to kill him. You can swing your nunchuck as much as you want, as long as you... Uh, you don't they you don't lose any unless you hit somebody. Oop. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know why my, my jump kick's not working. I'm dead. Yeah. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay. We're back in the boss room. I also found a really good way to do this. Apparently my controller's set up in such a way that my turbo activates tornado kick perfectly. also do directional throw really easily, too. Yeah, 
Uh-oh. There. They'll duck under it sometimes, but they seem to not do it nearly as often as they do in two. Linda should be the last enemy. Okay. So getting an attack off on him right when he walks in the door is really great. <laughs> now he's threatening me while he's on, on his ass. <laughs> uh, the game gets so much easier after you get Chin. Chin's amazing. It's my favorite character. Okay. It's Nunchuckus. That's his tornado kick. It doesn't do nearly as much damage, but it's pretty good for getting out of tight spots. If you can get him cornered, he's a lot easier to deal with. Chin's real big on the ducking. And that? That does so much damage. Okay, we got him. Easy peasy. I am beaten! You are the greatest martial artist in the world! Here's the first stone. Please allow me to join you on your trip to Japan! What, our trip to what now? Apparently our trip to Japan. What do you think we'll fight in Japan in an, in an early 90s NES game? Ninjas! It's a whole school of ninjas. This is probably the best place to fight these guys. Um, there's a wall over on the right side, and boy howdy do ninjas love doing wall kicks. Their throwing stars don't do a lot of damage. Purple ones have a little bit more hit points than the orange ones, or they do more damage. Uh, yeah, they're faster than anybody else. This music's decent. Like I said, as long as you... Ooh, sword. Anyway, we can, uh... Ah, Chin Seimai. There we go. Chin can just one combo these chumps. <laughs> he is really slow though, so that is a weakness against them. So, I still prefer uh, Billy for his uh, tornado kick bullshit. Because nothing really survives two of those. And you can run, but other than jumping, you can't really do anything with that ability. Like, doing a, a jump kick, it's it's not, it's not great. One second. Okay, what else can we do? Oh yeah, and uh, Jin's special weapon, he only has five again. But it's just his attack, except instead of doing seven damage per hit, it does 18. It's absolutely madness. Also, his run is adorable. So, we've got our little kick, a little flippy kick. His kicks do more damage than Billy's, but you can't combo them as much as you can with your Kung Fu attack. Uh, he has a nice little jump kick that he can change direction on. And he can also do a diving headbutt. You can change direction on that, but it's not as useful. It's a ninja house, of course, there's bamboo spears. Oh, it's awful. Oh god, it is awful. So as long as you keep people alive, you don't lose them. I won't lose the, the game if I lose a guy, but I will lose the ability to use them. Chin is busted. Oh, that's a great place. Keep coming out of that door. I like that door. I think we're done. This is one of those uh, three-stage levels. The boss for this one's pretty easy.
music's so tense. Like, parts of this game are really cool. It's just a shame that it is literally just dudes walking out of doors at you. The game. We come over here and we'll get... He's around here somewhere. I figure where the boss is. There we go. Welcome, Double Dragons. You may have gotten past my men, but they fight like children compared to me. My ninpo is unbeatable. So it is. I think he's dead, yeah. I think a full round of thing. I am disgraced! I have tasted defeat for the first time. You have earned the second stone and also my respect. May I join you? As I had the second stone, you know. So we have how many stones? We have two stones. Now be told, I have always had the third stone for reasons. We must now travel to Egypt to free Marion. But before we do, we must spend time in Italy practicing for the big battle. Sorry, what? <laughs> Why not just have the third stone be in Italy? What the hell? This, who are we even fighting here? So Ronzo is super fast, and he has a sword, but he has a lot less hit points. Oh, shit. These guys throw spears at you, it's bad. I need to be Billy for a second. Okay. Ah, shit, I didn't even do that. Damn. If you can get one guy down there and the rest of them up here, it's a lot easier to fight them. It's still pretty easy to fight them with Chin, but let's, uh... So, Ronzo's jump attack does as much damage as Billy's, uh... Billy's nunchucks. It's just very peculiar. And he has no hit points. But yeah, let's let's get off him and get back to Chen. Chen will still one shot these nerds, or one combo anyway. Trying to throw the knife. Never be on the same Z level as whatever you're fighting. I guess I can do three punches and two kicks is a good combo. Yeah, I like Chinch, it's cool. Or, yeah. you bastards. What are you doing? Stop. You come over here where the boss is going to come up. Stop, stop that. And nunchucks. This guy has a, a, a good, like, flying attack, but he doesn't seem to want to do it. And if you do all of Chin's weapons and a couple of Billy's nunchucks, you're good. Like, once you get past stage two, the rest of the game's kind of a piece of piss. So now we're in Egypt. Egypt is suffering. Okay. So you can... 
You can do a running jump. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. So let's, let's try that again. So, the other thing you can do is just, just be Ronzo. Oh, my God. The double tap. It's the curse of the headbutt all over again from Double Dragon 1. So that's not what I was trying to do. Now, these guys can corner cheese you, so... He has kind of a... his jump attack kind of arrests his fall. See, and then we come down here and then we can land and we'll be fine. So, anyway. I like Billy for most of the stage. Tornado Kick's still really good for, you know, what it does. People on both sides have a knife. So we're in Egypt. Gotta get to the pyramid. Or whatever the hell we're doing. What? Oh yeah, the, the bad guys... Okay, so the bad guys who kidnap Marion. They want the three sacred stones. I think it was the Rosetta Stones in the arcade. And you have to take them to Egypt where they're keeping Marion in a pyramid. He's just the killers that we were facing in U the U.S. again, like Willie's old gang. Only now there are these weird gladiator dudes. Like, this game struggles with identity. Like, who are these dudes? That's not Williams. That's just some bald asshole. This is Power Rangers team-up shit. Bastards. Timing got off. Had a lot of hit points. Okay, we should be good. We can go in the pyramid! Well, the same problem we had at the beginning. If you get them off, off the screen, though... They seem to have trouble attacking you. Music's awesome at this part. A little bit of platforming, not as much as we had in like two or def even one. Let's come over. Just hold to the right, is what you can beat video game says. It says we'll be fine. And we are. It looked a little glitchy, but we're fine. So now we're here. I think we can be Chin for these guys. He attacks so fast. Kind of like in Double Dragon 1, you can kind of manipulate their movement with this corner. Don't always get a one combo kill though. So we gotta be a little more careful with our positioning. I think that's it for this room though. It's Hiroko! Marion's being held behind that door. I must put the stones in place. They'll open the door and allow you to free her. Totally what we're doing here. Yes, the bad guys who didn't have the stones are keeping you my girlfriend behind this door that can only be opened with the stones. Little time to lose. Let us enter the room quickly. Okay. What else in this room? Ninjas! Why are there ninjas in this room? This door's been sealed for millennia. Chen, good at killing ninjas. They still only have 28 hit points. Some of those willingness and gladiators uh, have a little more. But, like, his kicks do less damage than his punches. It's obscene. He sorted me. 
I'll sword him out. Oh, you fuckers. Why did it have to be ninjas? At least no one's wanged us upside the back of the head. Are there? One more? Okay, we're good. So we got the, another stone. I lied to you! Your friend Brett tried to warn you, but I silenced him! I have three sacred stones of power. I must get the fourth to control the world! Arg, I turned to dust. Was that the fourth stone? Was that something else? But Hiroko didn't know the entire legend of the sacred stones of power. It says, She who enters a tomb carrying less than all four stones will be turned to dust. You see, in her haste to obtain power, Hiroko made a mistake that cost her her life. But you can't go into that room without holding all four stones of power, because you need three of them to get into the... I mean, maybe you have an elaborate thing of string, or maybe it just opens the door, and then you can just go in it. Anyway. This is the final boss. Look at this Castlevania shit. We're gonna be doing this for a while. That's the best attack for them. Because if you get too close, they'll hit you. Uh, Ronzo's not horrible on them. I want to save him for the final, final boss. Oh, shit. Usually if you jump away real fast... Oh, God. Jen, no! I need you. Okay. This one will open... You want them walking towards you, that's why I'm walking away. You just gotta... Ooh, I did not get my jump off in time. This is probably gonna go badly then. Because I don't think heel kick's gonna work on them. Um... Knee kick might work. Problem with heel kick is you can't... You have to go straight up. And he's just gonna duck out of the way. Yeah, he's just gonna duck out. Yeah, probably gonna restart this. Ah, oh, God. Anyway. Um, oh, wrong button. Jesus, that's my problem. Doesn't help. Yeah, let's see how Tornado kicks. I mean, it is the game where Billy Tornado kicks everything. Let's see how they do. It might... Oh, he, that went bad. There's our game over. Well, let's try that again from, from the beginning. can see the background through Chin's pants. That's funny. Also feels very Star Tropics to me for some reason. I'll never guess how we beat the third mummy. Is 
Looks like he stays down longer. Oh shit, okay. So, yeah, yeah. This is where it gets bad. We still have Hiroko in our inventory for some reason. I'm going to try uh, Billy. Uh, see how this goes. So this is Queen Namor. Oh, I have less hit points than I thought. Billy Tornado kicks the world. You never want to be on the same level as her, because she has some bullshit. You just want to move up and down. Stand still for a second when she does that. And then start moving whatever the farthest direction up or down is. You want to be aggressive, but chasing after her usually ends badly for you. Move towards her, she'll do that shit where she picks you up. Waiting for her to turn into a snake. <laughs> that, I was afraid that would hit me. Oh boy. That's the problem with her. Ah, damn. She has a ton of hit points, too. snake. Well, let's try Ronzo first. That was working out really good. There is kind of an audio cue before she does that, which is nice. Oof. fast enough to avoid a lot of her bullshit, which is nice. And each one of these is as strong as a nunchuck. I'm 
run directly at her. Or near her. Oh god. She's stuck in a pattern? To quote Arena? some iron claws on her. Ah. Chin so slow. Nope. Bad times. You can't tornado kick with Billy as a uh, when you have your nunchucks out, so... Problem with tornado. Oh, well, we got it. I'll say, problem with tornado kick is it knocks her too far away. The double dragons defeated Princess Noirum, who was really marrying under an evil spell. She awoke unharmed. Yeah. With his brother, he continues to spread his martial arts techniques to students around the world. Good job, but he looks so old and tired. Chin Mai returned to China to master Kenpo. He remains friends with the double dragons. He does not look as old as he does in his sprite. Yagyu Ranzo, return to Japan to become a ninja. One day he will be called Emperor. Jimmy Lee and his brother will continue to pass on their knowledge to students everywhere. She was not the first and won't be the last to let greed for power ruin her life. So we have Princess Noirum, the ancient Egyptian princess, who's Marion's name backwards. It's... Ugh. In Double Dragon 2, things happened with Marion. Confusing things. Because Americans are soft and they can't handle tragedy. Is it a fun game? Kinda. It is satisfying, tornado kicking everyone. And the, uh, the code that lets you, the cheat that lets you be both Billy and Jimmy is kinda cool. It gives the bad guys more hit points, but... I don't know, it's kinda worth. Uh, to get an extra set of nunchucks and an extra life bar. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I think it's fun. It was... It's a letdown... So you go from Double Dragon 1 to Double Dragon 2. Which is amazing. Double Dragon 2 is so good. And then you go to Double Dragon 3, which is technically impressive. So we go from... Let's see, Double Dragon 1. In Double Dragon 1, you couldn't have two players on the same on screen at the same time. And you could have... You can only have two bad guys, which means we're still stuck with two bad guys. That's fine. Um... So, two bad guys. And then in Double Dragon 2, you could have two-player cope on the screen, and you could have two bad guys, but they had to be the same bad guy. And that's still cool. And then in this, you have two-player co-op with multiple characters, so you can have two players being different characters. Um... And then you have two different bad guys, and they are different. Like, they, they generally have the same AI, but they do have different attacks. Like, the Bruces have their kick attack, and then they all have different weapons. And Linda has a ranged attack, and... Like, there's... There's potential, and then they just... I don't know, me mechanically, I don't know. I think this is, the stage design is where it suffered. Like, they look good. They're just boring. Like, I like the structure in 1 and 2, where you you move forward for a little while, and then a little hand tells you, hey, keep going. So, uh... Oh, I know what I should do. Give me a second. Uh, I should show that off. As I did, I mentioned a hack earlier. So one of the hacks I have for this, which I really like, makes the bad guys a little too easy, but... Because once you get a rhythm down, the game is a lot easier. Once you get your, your tornado kick thing down, and there's... You can do other attacks beside that. It's just the safest thing to do. New Danger, Hiroko. This is also the game that started the Bimmy and Jimmy Lee thing, so now... Um... Those guys look like Ropers now. Except they have hair. Well, I guess Roper had hair. He just had really short hair. So 
Oh yeah. And then I think the Bruce, the other guys will end up being Williamses. The guys I should should be Williamses to begin with. Yeah, there they are. They look a little janky. Yeah, they they didn't he didn't come out of the door. All right, let's get a Linda. Oh, and I think the uh, the big guy is now a, a Burnoff from two and uh, Gaiden. And I guess there are a lot of Burnoffs in four. So I'll have to do four now. The Linda sprites look great. At this. And then there's still oh yeah the the guys with weapons have to have their original sprites. Or at least, uh, the bottle guys do. But it just... This one really needs some enemy variety. Like, even in the first Double Dragon, because like, you're fighting the Bobos, you know, like, you get more big guys, and you get the chins, and... Oh, it just feels like there's more to do. Let's see if we can cheese some people off the edge. Is immensely satisfying. There is nothing like it. That's better than drugs. Um, music's pretty good here. Uh, I saw one hack that made like the weapons permanent. Look at Burnov! Look how cool he looks face looks weird, because I, I guess there's not enough colors to give him his, uh, his gray faceplate. There's no uh, hyper knee in this one either, which is a shame. Yeah, I don't think I can throw him. Check him and sort that out. Oh, go away, Hiroko. I have a limited fast forward on this. Long journey, yeah, yeah, go to China. I think there's these are mostly Williamses. Oh, a Linda to start off with. Yeah, I guess we're getting Lindas instead of Ropers. But I do appreciate that, like, for the second stage of the game, things are dying in one tornado kick, which is nice. And I think... The Colosseum boss is different. I think they changed the Colosseum boss to a Bobo. Oh no, knives! Itch. You're lagging out the game. Let out. like catching him with that right when he walks in. Well, this is an interesting coincidence. Good to know about that one. He is defeating. <laughs> this game's great. Ninjas! Ah, it's easier to fight them inside. We'll, we'll see how it goes. The ninjas look different. A little bit? He feels more purple than he was. So, we should be on normal difficulty now. Ooh, you bastard. Just 
slowly walked in the door. You all are shit. Run, Chen! Jesus, Chen, run. Do your diving headbutt. It's your only chance. Oh yeah, I want to be able to that, that middle one. Don't go over there, there's spear traps, you're doomed. It's hard to tell if you've gotten his run to work because he's so damn slow. So they took these enemies, these ninjas, and they decided for Double Dragon 4, I want to say it is, what if we made ninjas but really annoying? And then they put them in that game. Get back here, you. Come here, yo. To ruin you. Oh, uh, Chen gives me very Orson Welles vibes. I did get past your man. His ninpo is unbeatable. This shouldn't be knocking him down each time. Whatever, he's dead. That's greatest! Before we do this, I want you to punch this guy in Italy. <laughs> uh, I love the translation fix. Okay, so here's what I was trying to do before. Now you can really cheese these bastards. Because now only one guy can come out at a time. You just stand here and punch the bejesus out of them with your kung fu. Because that guy down on the bottom, he's still alive, so it won't trigger a second spawn. And so busted. This is a good trick, though. I like this trick. Your fucking knife. He trades well, too, because he has uh, less recovery frames than most bad guys. He cannot run up and down like Billy can. I kind of wonder what else they fixed in the translation. There's a neat trick where you can get this boss stuck down on the left side, kind of like the green Abobo in Double Dragon 1. And you can just, he can't do anything to you, 
until you knock him down. So as long as you do enough damage to him before you knock him down, he'll die. So Ronzo can't pick up weapons. I always thought he was cool. It was neat having a ninja. I always liked uh, G.I. Joe because you could play a Snake Eyes. His attacks kind of suck, though. That's a janky abobo. Stop running. Okay, let's not risk it. Let's go to nunchucks. That is a janky abobo. They gave him a bad beard and took off his hair. There we go. He's pretty easy, though. I like the noise the nunchucks make when you move around. They're bruises now. Oh no, they're the rope are still, that's right. They just look weird. Okay. Jesus. Oof. In platform elements of beat em up. Although I guess, like, Streets of Rage 4 is still one of my favorite, one of these of all time, and it does have its damn, the holes on the pier. I'm trying to throw that at you bastards. Do you mind? You don't have a bottle. I wonder if they changed the mummies. I doubt it. You kind of have to have the mummies in a pyramid in Egypt in a fighting game. I mean, come on. I wonder... I wonder if this game inspired them on Gaiden to do the, the triangle. It's like, well, we've already got the, the pyramid motif and stuff in our, in our double dragon. There's a... Um, what else do I want to do for this? Well, I want to do Neon. Um... There's a really cool Game Boy game for Double Dragon, the first one. It's really fun. It's just Double Dragon, but done modern. I mean, as modern as the Game Boy Advance is. You have, like, more weapons. You have stabs and nunchucks. And it's really fun. The, um... Cell phone games for Double Dragon look amazing. They're just very hard to get to work. Which is a shame, because they're so cool. There's one where, like, you can unlock dudes to play as, like in Gaiden. Ugh. This fight is dirty. That's why my Billy had no health. Let's see if the hack messed up the easy trick. It's not too difficult to jump off that when you get up to the top, but the, just holding right is definitely safest. Uh, you can't do it with Chin, though. He'll fall off. Chin time! Like, it'd be nice to have, like, a proper boss rush here, like, have some of the big guys come back, like, like, Jim. Like, instead of the mummies, you could have, like, Jim and the big Arnold dude. I did like, but now we have to go punch these guys in, uh, in Italy. And then you don't even get a thing where it's like, okay, now it's time to go to Egypt. I think there was a fourth player in the arcade version, uh, someone called Sonny. And I think he's what this gladiator is supposed to be. Uh, Matt talks about it in his uh, Double Dragon retrospective, Matt and Muscles. It's... I really enjoyed watching that. 
it made great background noise. Because a lot of Double Dragon music sounds like Mega Man, and it's really awesome. Like, especially that first one. Are we done already? That wasn't so bad. Why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, I'm doing it to see if I can do it without cheating. <laughs> Although I'm playing a hack, so I'm cheating by default. Hey, okay. Open the door. Then we go fight... Come on, please say something about the ninjas. Be like, oh boy, oh boy, I sure hope there aren't any ninjas inside this ancient sealed room. That's what I would do. I really appreciate the hacking community. There's some really amazing stuff on romhack.net. That's where I got that Mario, uh, Mario Land 2 DX. Um, there's a Mario Land DX. There's a bunch of DX. I think there's a, a Link's Awakening DX. Might have to do that at some point. Nope. I love Zelda, but I also don't. Some of it's just so very tedious. Link's Awakening is pretty amazing. Played that a lot when I worked for Sprint overnight. Played a lot of Link's Awakening, and Worms, and uh, a lot of Mario Kart. Oh, and all those uh, Mario remakes for the Game Boy came out while I was working at Sprint. It was amazing. Uh-huh. We'll get a better view of her turning into dust. But, like, if that was the fourth stone, take it and leave. Why come in here and bother the mummies? Why'd you bother the mummies? Mummy kicking action than you can shake a chin at. Let's see if we can get this done clean. I love the little bounce. It gives you more time to react, too. I love Chin. He's so cool. Wish I'd brought him back. He doesn't even make an appearance in 4. 4 is uh, a lesson in wasted uh, wasted potential. Like, because you have... It, it's, it's not bad. It's just not as good as maybe it should have been for having come out after 2010, I think. When did it come out? I'd say it came out like 2013 or so. It's like, you could have had Chin and, and Ronzo again. That would have been awesome. Because it's basically just every move from the 8-bit Double Dragons done in Double Dragon 2 again. So they basically... We're probably pretending Double Dragon 3 doesn't exist because it was hated in the arcades because of its predatory pay to win practices, even for an arcade game, which is fucking saying something. And the story's nonsensical. Oh, wow. Oof. It is hard for him to dodge that. Jesus. Okay, good to know. Not super well. Suck it, bitch. attack. Good. Okay. Not what I was going for, but I'll take it. to get her stuck in a loop again. This has potential. Yeah, figured she'd fire Snake away. Ah. 
Still not fair. I mean, it's fair. It's the only thing she can really do when I start doing that ridiculous bullshit. I love when I can get more than one attack off before she teleports. Doomed. Stuck with Billy. Oh, we bitch. I think Billy's uh, Dragon Kick, Tornado Kick does almost as much damage as his Nunchucks. I think it's like one or two points off. Oh, I forgot. You get to continue when you start. Uh, when you get to level four, you, you get to continue. I'm not going to, but I think we've had our fun with it. <laughs> Go, Chin! You can make these jumps with Chin. Goddamn. But yeah, just imagine losing Billy in, like, the, the third stage. See, I can jump that high, but not from two blocks up. That would just be silly. Who who would imagine such a thing? Blocking, jumping from that high up. I mean, it would probably kill me. Anyway, this game, is, this game is another fun way to while away, like, a half hour. It's, it's, it's fun. I think I like one better. Two is still the best. Two will always be the best for me. Some people like one more, and that's fine. It's okay to be wrong. Um, <laughs> one is amazing for what it is. I don't know, I just kind of want to keep talking about Double Dragon. It's what started my love of beat-em-ups. This and then the Ninja Turtles arcade game. I played a lot of beat-em-ups in arcade games. Um, Simpsons and the Avengers. Uh, X-Men had an awesome arcade beat-em-up. Golden Axe and... Uh, I'd call Altered Beast a beat-em-up. Altered Beast a bit more like a uh, one-figure death punch. <laughs> that kind of worked. Yeah, the problem is... There's no good way to avoid those jump kicks. And then you get stuck on both sides. Because his attack does not do as much damage as Billy's. Like, I need them to fall onto the bricks. Yeah. Chin does not do good in these 2D areas. He needs... Well, because he's slow and he can't... He can't evade people this way. Oh, I know what I can do. Be hilarious. Kinda wonder what the game does. Okay, we're gonna hold to the right. We're gonna put this to the test. He does die comically. Then what? Oh, it just puts Ron. It just puts me up here as Ron. So that's nice of it. Up attacks decent. Let's see. Let's see if we got some cheese here. I do love me some cheese. Oh, no. Not quite as good. Not quite as good as bullying Chin. That was quality. This might work, though. He's a speedy boy. Okay. This, this is a thing. I don't know if it'll work on the ninjas. 
Oh, this is great. I love this. This beats the hell out of, like, actually punching them. It's just, I'm, I'm just gonna keep doing this, and if you die, it's your own fault. I wanna see if it works on the ninjas or the mummies. It probably will not work on either of them. Okay, let's try top right corner. Nope. Oh yeah, they, they are too much with the jumpy bullshit. Maybe. Because unless they time their throwing star just right. Okay. This, this... It's not the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but it's close. Tumble Heel Kick. It's such a cool name. It's like a pro wrestling finishing maneuver. It actually reminds me of pro wrestling and the back brain kick. I love that game. You had the Amazon and a bunch of dudes I can't remember because they weren't the Amazon or Starman. There were six guys? Maybe just five. Oh my god, it worked. I'm gonna take the stone! Hiroko, you're so silly. Go away. Nobody loves you. Okay, mummies. Okay. Find our corner. I'm just gonna keep doing this. What you got, old man? Oh, no. No. There's no way this works. There is no way this works. There has to be a way for him to get in on me. Talking in my hand, it shouldn't be. Oh my god. This was a joke run. This was just for the memes. This wasn't supposed to be... Game. I mean, because you could do this. The uh, task run for this is really cool. The task can string together some combos. Okay, but surely this won't work on Mary. Marion, our little blonde girl with a bazooka. Yes, she was an Egyptian princess once. That's why being a little police officer lady with a bazooka is much more plausible than being an Egyptian sorceress queen. Okay, what you got? What you got? Come on. What you what you got, nerd? What you, what you, what you got, nerd? Nope. Yeah, that, that, that teleporting snake's gonna get me. What the fuck was that? I think if I hadn't wasted Billy and Chin, I might, I might have this. Oh, cause it's just... Yeah, he, he's real susceptible to that damn fire snake. That attack is bullshit. Anyway, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back with something else next time. Until then, go go play more Vetro Beat'em Ups. They're super fun.